All right. Uh, let's see. So I I did some whaling. So let's 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 do some whaling for a bit. Okay. So first and foremost, we want to do change appearance. Okay. So I unlocked some new voices. We have Bonebox, Painkiller, Johnny G, Drake, Nameless, Gargantua. Uh. There we go. I guess I'm gonna be Gargantua now. Okay. Outer plug suit. So like I said, did some whaling. Uh. So, <laughs> um, what do you guys think? Do I go full dad here? Okay, we're going full dad. So first and foremost, dad would have like a, a tan suit. With, like, a red tie? Do you think a red tie? A blue tie. Ooh. Hot pink tie. I'm digging. I'm digging that. Is this the undershirt? I don't actually know if there's a color on this one. Okay, cool. Anyway, body modification colors. This is... Uh, we just got access to this. I'm kind of digging the orange. Why is it that I can only get hot orange this way? Whatever. Uh, let's see. Digging that. The main issue is... Wait, this isn't the fingers? Oh, it's not. It's like the lights in there. Oh, that's kind of dumb. All right, whatever. Good enough. And I don't think I picked any anything else up. There were a couple of DLC packs for like hair, but I didn't feel like picking them up. So I guess complete. Yes. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> business shoes only come in brown and black. Wonder what kind of dad is this? Bionic dad. <laughs> now, I will admit, I've picked up a lot of money, so let's actually go into body modifications. Uh, specifically upper body. Now... Oh, let's see, grenade stock. I gotta look at some of these things. Outer extra HP. I don't really need either of those. Uh, let's see, what is this? Arsenal improved chain distance. That's kind of good. The improved melee weapons. Increased chain attacks. Outer repair. Yeah, see, I want to go for the reload speeds here. Because increasing reload speed to be, like, near nothing would be kind of lovely. What else is there? Outer skylifter. I'm assuming that's jetpack. I wonder if I could just fly. I probably could. That is also a huge temptation, is just to have my outer go, go purist, um... Do I need reload speed that bad? Eh, maybe. We can always respec whenever I want, so let's just go for chain attacks. Let's see if this gives me robo-arms. Oh. Oh. It didn't give me robo-arms. Well, I'm going to be pretty poor after this. So here's the question. What does Outer Repair do? Well, outside your arsenal, hold the repair button. Near your arsenal will recover its VP. Oh. Okay. So yeah. Do I really need jetpacks on my Outer? The answer is probably not. So I don't really need Outer Repair either. So why don't, why don't we get increased chain attacks? I'm just gonna... Yeah, there we go. There's the other robot hand. <laughs> Robo dad. <laughs> Alright. So now that we're here... Uh, let's see. Let's actually... Let, let's do the exact same thing with my mech. I've been farming for parts uh, off camera. And so I got some new, new goods. So I got the Osafuna helmet got good lock on range durability is okay 
Uh, let's see. We've got the Goliath... No, we don't even have the Goliath chest on. We've actually got the Gladius chest on. Which is a little bit more mobile than the Goliath. Uh, but I got some other things that I could potentially upgrade to as well. So there's also the Atlas. Which is really slow, but doesn't get knocked down. There's Swordbreaker, which has extra stamina. Uh, let's see. And we also have the Ozofune, which is really fast. But only when boosted. Uh, let's see. So honestly, I'm leaning for just going, sticking with the Gladius. It's got an attachment point. The bonus stamina is nice. Bonus def defense is kind of nice. Uh, let's see. So let's go back and take a look at heads. Uh, let's see. So we're looking at, looking for things with higher lock-on range, if possible. The Atlas head. It says it has lock-on range plus plus. Maybe it does. It's pretty cool looking. What else do we got? Got decent lock on range. We've got uh, Floresce Domi Flo Floresce Flore Floresce Dominion. Uh, let's see. They all have about the same lock on range. I'm liking the Dominion, if only because it, it this one's got two slots, hella defense, and hella stun resistance. It's also just kind of big. I wonder if Wanderers used the complete stats page yet. I have. It's a little bit more than I think I want to look at. That, wow. Okay, this does make a massive difference in defense, though. Holy shit. Oh, and that's the, that's the Atlas head. What about this sucker? Now I had another one of these. This one. Because this, this increases my HP by about 4,000. If I really want to be... Shonk Man. Yeah, sure. I got some attachment points we can maybe make up for it. Okay. So, let's take a look. So, I've currently got the Stiletto, which increases fire rate, support, and memory usage. On, I think that's an acid thing? I want to go Goliath Arm. I mean, do we want to just be big boy? Big boy on campus? What else do we have? Reload su support. Wait, does that reduce my reload sp speed? Oh, yeah, that makes it worse. A lot worse. Might not matter that much. Let's see, we also have the Gradius arm. 75. So Gradius has throwing performance and defense. Now let's just go big or go home. Let's see, do I have another Goliath arm? Let's see. Oh, right. I have a kitted out Goliath arm. I also have an Ozofune arm. Uh, but yeah, so th this one came with mods. I also have a gun arm if I wanted to just, like, eschew equipment entirely. And just have an assault rifle built into the arm. I think it's just one of the basic assault rifles. I could be wrong. It looks cool, but... Then I can't really switch up my guns, so that's kind of hard. Now, this is the one thing I'm not entirely sure I want to switch out. Because I really like the Kazakiri, uh, Kazakiri legs, because the enhanced, like, uh, land speed is super good. Uh, let's see, land speed. So, yeah, if I, if I switch to, say, Goliath legs, my land speed halves. Or even thirds. Like, I am very fast on the ground as long as I'm wearing Kazakiri legs. And so it's actually kind of tempting to just stick with these. I mean, obviously, if I want to be Chunkbot, uh, I... I can stick with these legs and go from here. Let's see, don't you fly mo most of the time? I've actually been doing a lot more land-related stuff. I do really like the look of the Atlas legs, but I think I think we're gonna... Oh, here's the one question. Ooh, we would 
If I went to the Atlas Legs, I would gain a lot of defense. Okay. Don't skip leg day. Become beef... beef bot. Well, I certainly look the part. Uh, let's see. So we also have some new weapons that I can switch with. I'll show you guys what I was doing to farm in a little while. Let's take a look at lasers. Let's see. I had I've used this. It's okay. It's a charge rifle, but I, I didn't care for it too much. Should probably try the Habakiri. I don't actually know which is better. This one is actually. But only mildly. That one does a heck of a lot more damage. This one's fun, but it uses a lot of fem. Uh, it does use femto, which is a bit rough. Okay, so we also have a Grim Reaper three. Good range, good damage, reduced ammo capacity. Eh, might be okay. Let's see. We have Caledrius. Low power, lots of bullets. Do you want to? Here, let's let's move away from lasers at least for a little bit today. Just so I have, like, some level of variety in my life. And we have a new sh shoulder weapon. The Laser Cannon Gaia Ray. Laser Cannon with high Femto usage. Its power compensates for its low ammo. I can't say it's good or not, but, uh, yeah, go big or go home. Okay, we also have some new patterns. So we can be Chrome Black, Chrome White, which hurts my eyes a little bit, Chrome Gold... Wood, te <laughs> wood texture, uh, gaudy as shit, or, uh, you know, I honestly don't know what this pattern is called. Waves. Gold actually looks pretty good. Wood texture is just hilarious. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's be gold. Let's be fancy. I also got some decals. Uh, let's see. Right arm. Select decal. So I have a hot dog. Uh, oh, it's here. Why the hell is it there? Uh, bone and meat, pizza, and we have a bunch of Japanese characters that say different things. Like Damon X Machina. And purity, knight, lineage, witch, sin, and punishment. Rule, military man. Let's just put Damon X Machina on the arm. And, uh, let's move it around. Oh, it only goes there. Okay, let's... Let's make it fit right there, because that's... That's practically perfect. I like that. Okay, save paint job. Okay, so there's one last thing that I could do, which is... Is it... Edit Arsenal. Here we go. So, uh, these are all DLC things. So this is what I got for pre-ordering the game, which is effectively the original mech? Kind of. Makes it look like the prototype bot. I've also got Crusader bot, which looks pretty damn futuristic. Though, a little... I mean, this helmet is going to go dong-dong when you go down the, uh... when you do go down ladders. We also have Muramasa, if you I want to look freaking nuts. Or Rabbit, if I want to look way below my weight class. That is a chesty bunny. Uh, let's see, so what do we think? I'm probably going to stick with what I've got, but maybe at some point I will go for an ultra-fast build. Actually, why don't we do that? Here, let's, let's save a loadout. Let's save this sucker. And then eventually... At some point, I'm going to go for ultra fast, like the lightest, the lightest, fastest build. And we're going to, uh, we're going to put on the Muramasa skin. So we're just like huge, <laughs> huge and so zippy. Okay. I also got some messages. Uh, okay. So this is just, I was doing free missions and apparently doing free missions actually unlocks, unlocks these characters. So they just join you. Uh, anyway, 
that's enough kind of management stuff. Let's actually get on with this game. Offer missions. Rank C, guard the freight train cargo. Oh, no. Mission briefing. Briefing will now commence. The objective of this mission is to guard a freight train transporting valuable cargo through Sky Union's territory. Once the mission begins, you must protect the train until it reaches its destination. Complete any necessary preparations, then stand by and await dispatch. Briefing over. A freight train? So, not the linear line? The bedrock in this area is too dense to run an underground line through it. Line construction has since stalled due to the depth of the ravine. Ground level rail freight transport is the only option here. So we got a freight hop? Lame. I was hoping for something with a little more kick, personally. Considering the value of the cargo being transported, this mission should provide all the kick you desire. Wait, the good kind of kick or the bad kind? Enemy interference is expected. Huh, so the bad kind then. I don't know about this. In that case, Innocence accepts this mission. Mission acceptance confirmed. Huh? Crows on board? The Western Seven accepts too. Really now? What are you crooks scheming this time? We've certainly had our run-ins before, but only because of our missions. In that regard, is your crew really any different? Your mistrust seems peculiar, to say the least. Don't act like your people haven't earned it. Scheming requires a level of freedom that is denied to us. At any rate, where there's smoke, there's fire. I'd like to know what's causing it before an inferno breaks out. What's that got to do with me? Yeah, what are you talking about? As mercenaries, I don't think we can turn a blind eye to what's happening. But I suppose we all have our own reasons for being here. Yeah, well, uh, good luck out there. Gotta make every credit count. Rookie, I'll see you at the mission area. I too must be on my way. I should up the tech speed, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, oh, we got messages. Messages? Huh, you survived. I could have sworn you finally... I'm gonna stop you right there. Rookie aside, how do you know what happened? About what happened? What? You don't know? That video of you getting shot down is trending like crazy! Huh? Why? Beats me. Man, if I'd known we had a shot at going viral, I would have taken that mission in a heartbeat. That's easy for you to say. You have any idea how much this is gonna cost to fix my arsenal? Pretty sure being a mercenary means you Approach can turn a blind eye to whatever. You have oh, I'm so at big. Area. I'm so Scanning big. Battlefield. Femto particle distribution is low. Radar will not be affected. Initiating each arsenal's data link. Opening squad communications channel. The train. What the? Processing. Unknown units have appeared on the radar. Be careful. Four, just to be safe, stop the train. It's too dangerous to have it come this way. To prevent outside intervention, the train is operating according to an automated sequence. I cannot stop it. Attention. Three arsenals have entered the mission area. This is being broadcast on the wide area channel. If you three are mercenaries, identify yourselves. We are currently carrying out a mission. Please leave at once. Otherwise, you will be considered an immortal, and we will bring you down. Sorry, can't do that. We're in the middle of a mission ourselves. Panzer Crown. Nothing makes my blood boil like a little boy who thinks he can push me around. Abandon your mission and leave before you get hurt. Excuse me? Our mission is to guard this freight train. And our mission is to destroy it. If you get in our way, we'll kill you. Well now, I guess my hunch was right after all. I'm gonna tell you right now, Innocence Boy. 
Don't waste your time verifying this mission's legitimacy with Orbital. Why not? There's no reason for mercenaries to fight each other. Calm down, Notes. This mission was obviously meant to put mercenaries in conflict with one another. Last time I was teamed up with the Rookie, now we're fighting each other. Makes you wonder who's arranging these matches, huh, kiddo? What are you saying? Wish I could say more, but there's just no time. You mean we have to fight? But why? Why indeed. That's what I'm here to find out. So are we doing this or what? Notes, I know you're confused, but you need to calm down. They're deadly serious about this. Rest in peace, train. Attention. The train has arrived. Begin the mission. All right, let's get started. Okay. I'm not really sure if the uh, the laser cannon is as worth it as I was hoping it would be. Also, I think lasers are considerably better. Holy shit. Train is big. I was expecting the train to be a um, much smaller thing. It is not... It is a chunky creature. Well, I'm not actually sure if it's worth it for me to uh, aim at her specifically. God damn! It's like this game wants me to only use. Uh, no problems detected in train operations. However, please try to avoid further damage. Come on, come on, come on! You better protect that train, or I'm gonna end up taking you out! Ah! Okay, there's... there's Empress. Yeah, I kind of missed my, like, ground speed. I'll, I'll show you guys the difference on ground speed in a bit. Okay, there she is. I also missed my laser rifles. Just look straight ahead and shoot. I've got you covered. It's times like this when I feel most alive. Please die. You are so beefy. I I know I'm beefy too, but it's not quite the same. I definitely Sorry, missed my missiles. But this is the end for you. Arsenal's busted. I'm pulling out. Okay, what do we want? Lambersh or Ogre Break? Cannon sounds really good right now. Let's How go Cannon. I, go? I, I need way more intro. I need better guns. Right, let's do a quick camp Defense up. Defense systems yeah. have dropped to 50%. Warning systems are active. Be careful. Further damage poses a significant risk. This mission is a cinch. That's shields. That's arms. This is wings. There we go. How's the train doing? Okay. She's sniping it. She's also pretty weak. Based on my... Based on past experiences. Yep, she's pretty weak. I'm very slow. Holy Sorry, shit. But this is the end for you. And this is why I need that. Further damage will result in a complete system shutdown. Come on, are you trying to fail this mission? Don't hold out on me now. Give me everything you got. This is why I need that, uh... This is why I need that, that, uh, land speed. Hmm. 
I forgot to ask what to do in situation. Got her. Almost there. It just needs to reach the valley. The train has passed the designated point. Mission complete. Mission accomplishment recognized. Our mission's not over yet! Enough. Any hostilities outside the designated mission area will be seen as an attack on Sky Union and Orbital. He's Look right, Queen. It's over. Let's get out of here. I can't believe the three of us lost. God damn it! <laughs> Where are these animations? Somehow we accomplished our mission. But could someone please tell me what's really going on? You seem like a smart kiddo. Do your own digging if you really want to know. Don't treat me like a child! Just give me a real explanation! She's right. No matter what she says, it's just going to fall on deaf ears. We are in no position to trust her, and she knows that. See? He gets it. Catch you later, kiddo. Please wait! What the heck is happening in the Oval Link? Definitely got more than I bargained for on this one. Four, execute return sequence. Affirmative. All units return. Yeah, so we definitely need to switch the legs back out so I actually go fast. Because, uh, who boy, I don't go fast, and I actually really need that speed. I also really need those laser rifles. Like, everything else just feels kind of bad. Okay, well, that's about as good as I'm going to get. I have a new voice. Hey. No expenses. Ogre break. I don't even know how good that's going to be. I'll equip it as a secondary. I think what I'm going to do is just always have the lasers with me and experiment with the pylon equipment. Uh, let's see. Nope, this is armor. Weapons. Right weapon. Laser. Okay, so right pylon. I had a sword on this. Didn't I? No, right, right pylon is that. Let me throw in the Tempest. No, we want the cannon. Or is the cannon... Oh, the cannon's a shoulder weapon. Fair enough. Okay, left pylon, though, we had a different melee weapon. Let's go with, let's go with that. Good for striking multiple times. Shoulder weapon, cannon. Long range fire. Delivers high damage, wide range payloads. Yeah, yeah. I'm not big on the cannon, though. Let's, let's actually go to the uh, testing ground for this. See, if I unlock the secret shop yet. No, I haven't. Hundred and nine damage. Yeah, I don't actually I like the idea of the cannon. It does good damage. But I think I prefer the uh Oh. You can un unlock the secret shop by spending money at the ice cream shop. How much? Okay, so let's let's go back to missiles. I was using the I think I was using these. They do a bunch of damage. They're kind of slow. I'm curious about Let's try let's try fire missiles. 
Okay, don't recall the exact conditions. We'll just look it up then. Okay, fully customize your hub or HUD. Hmm. Okay. There are three conditions for the secret shop. Rank C, 20 to 30 unique servings. Let's see, one of either some number of co-op missions or some level of co-op play. Okay, so I guess let's just go eat a shit, shit ton of seek. Let's just eat a shit ton of ice cream, I guess. I don't have that much. Okay, so we're just we're just going to jam banana ice cream into Robo Dad's face. All right, that's three. That's five? I'm not really counting. Six. We'll go to like 23. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Unfortunately, keeping count twelve is a little harder. Okay. I guess we should probably start trying out different... Combinations, too. It looks like different combinations might not matter. Okay, so it looks like you only fill out the, uh... Oh. Oh! We just got it. Okay, sure. Uh, so we can develop equipment. So I can get the Siegfried head. The uh, Jerichwise head. Okay. Bodies. So we got Siegfried body. Boy, howdy. Uh, only good when... Boosting, though. It actually reduces your flight speed unless you're boosting. Oh, you know what? That makes total sense. Siegfried arm. I don't actually really care much for these. I mean, this one looks kind of hilarious. What about legs? Siegfried legs. Good jump performance, interestingly enough. Like, what about weapons? Oh, hi. Okay, so there's the Danesliff. The Arundite. Vanish Loa. So 
So it looks like some of these I have to kill creatures for. I think, yeah, this one you have to kill Gunfort Alpha and get something else for it. I'm not entirely sure how the hell I'm going to get half of this stuff. I'm assuming most of this stuff is only really gettable uh, towards the end of the game, unless you can get it earlier. Some of it looks damn cool, though. I fire rate. Ooh. Shoulder weapons. Uh, how big are these things? Oh my god! Let's see, a laser cannon, active homing missile. Space Dad needs a big cannon. Hell yeah, he does. Nosedive boosters. My god, those look really cool. State-of-the-art booster, capable of achieving super high cruising speeds. See, I just want these purely for the visual effect more than anything else. Damn! Hopefully we unlock some more stuff with that as we go along. Well, anyway, we have that, but... Well, bought a shit ton of ice cream. We've decided to impose large-scale blockades over several areas. While this situation is less than ideal, at our current power, this is the best course of action we can pursue. As a general rule, entrance to these areas for any reason is prohibited. This applies not only to you, but your allies as well. While it's true that the AIs are expanding their sphere of influence, the primary reason for these blockades is due to Horizon engaging in multiple acts of sabotage. They're scheming to monopolize all they can, from resources to distribution. If the balance between us and Horizon were to break down, both inside and outside the barrier, the world would be plunged into chaos once again. A radical faction exists within Horizon. Those saboteurs are to blame for the current situation. They have forced our hand. We must consider all potential countermeasures. We hope you will exercise consideration as well. Be mindful of your actions and whether they truly serve humanity's best interest. All are connected beneath the sky. However, the world is not as vast as it used to be. Okay, so I think I've got everything I can get. Didn't I steal that arsenal from Sky Union? Yeah, I've been mostly attacking Sky Union lately, so I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, unidentified arsenals have entered Sky Union's territory. If they're determined to be hostile, they must be eliminated. Oh, right. I was going to quick switch my legs out. Because, yeah, I'm just too slow. Not Goliath, it's Kazakiri. I am very top heavy. Damn! That's fine. Uh let's see. I'll show you I'll show you why these legs are super good. If I can find something that gives me a flight speed bonus, Mission like just a, a flat bonus, it would be lovely. Bonus. 